Thank you very much, DJ Dede, and welcome. I'm pleased to be here today with the assistant editor of the Daily Mirror, Damon Lewis. Welcome, Damon Lewis. Thank you, Diane. Good to be here. Thank you very much, and thank you for joining Genesis Sun's first official virtual event. So I have some questions for you, Darren. Um, and well, where I wanted to start was, can you tell us a little bit about your background growing up? Um, well, yeah, I'm from Hackney. Um, I was born in Hackney, East London. Uh, when I was brought up there, it was one of the poorest boroughs in the country, not just in London. And I went to school locally as well. And I got into the industry through work experience uh, in a local newspaper in North London, in Barnet and Enfield. And I moved from there to regional newspapers. I worked at the, end, uh, the Evening Standard, the London Evening Standard. And it was from there that I moved to the Daily Mirror via bits of shift work in a couple of other publications. And I've now been at the Daily Mirror for just over 20 years. So it's been quite a journey, but I really enjoyed it. Right, oh, fabulous. And, and can you tell us a little bit about the work you do at the Daily Mirror? Well, essentially I'm a football reporter. Um, that's my basic job. So every week I go around the country and obviously when the occasion demands it around Europe to go and cover football matches, I'll be at the European Championships in the summer as well. But also my job involves writing on the news side of things as well, which is actually where I started my career anyway. And I also do a news column for the Daily Mirror. So if there is something in the news agenda that has caught my eye, I normally write an opinion piece effectively on it in the news pages every week. Yeah. Okay. And what in, in within um, journalism, because journalism is extremely important, um, do you think the media are doing enough, the media industry are doing enough to, to um, create leadership positions and be more diverse? In the last couple of years, it's had to wake up quite a lot to the fact that it isn't anywhere near diverse. Events have forced that to be the case from Raheem Sterling to the tragic death of George Floyd and other areas where a lot of organizations have realized that they were trying to reflect the opinions of people that they had no connection with. And so a number of organizations have had to recognize and address that. Leadership positions, we still have some way to go. Uh, we still do have a very small percentage of columnists who are non-white in the media industry, the written media industry. And in terms of running publications, broadcast outlets on radio and television, we have none. So there is a lot of work to do in terms of that side of things, leadership teams. But certainly the media industry is waking up to the fact that it has a great deal of work to do to reflect the world around it. Yeah, and what, what sort of work do you feel they're doing within the, the media industry? Because we know journalism figures for, for black people are very, very low. And if there were more journalists, black journalists or journalists of other ethnicities, there would be more, um, there would be more, um, equity across the discussions within the media well there would be more accuracy as well i think yeah. there would be more a, a lot of publications and i'm sure they don't mind me saying it have to bring in people to write for them in areas that relate to black people and i think the the work that is being done is to change that and to try and bring people in that are part of any one particular media outlet's staff so that they can be involved in the decision-making process they can be involved in informing the direction 
of any one radio station, TV station, written media outlets, editorial direction. I think a lot of newspapers uh, and broadcast outlets try to write about stuff they don't have any experience of. Yeah. And that has been pointed out time and again. And we're in a period of time where people are unafraid to do that now. I think in the past, the conversation may have come and gone, but because obviously the circumstances we all find ourselves in at the moment, we're all at home, we're all online, and this conversation has been an ongoing one. And I think the circumstances of the last 12 months have forced us to kind of hold still and really engage with this dialogue. Whereas in the past, it would probably fade away and we'd keep coming back and again and again. It was almost as if we were, as if we were going around in circles, that would probably be the best way to describe it. And I think if you connect that with the work that Genesis Sun are doing, you are trying to encourage people, something that I say very often, if you can see it, you can be it. Absolutely. And so what you need to be able to do is see people in positions that you can aspire to. I got into journalism because I aspired to be like the legendary broadcaster Trevor McDonald. And I think a lot of people saw him as an inspiration who are working, whether it's in radio, television, behind the scenes. You know, there were people who for us were inspirations. And I think the work you are doing now at Genesis Sundan is getting people to realise that there are people in the industry that they can aspire to. Yeah, and absolutely they are, there are. And Darren, it's so wonderful that you use your platform to, to speak to, to, to our guests and to, to let them know that there are people and there are opportunities. And if they really work hard, they can achieve and what you said about there being people that they can see, that, that is so important. And the, in terms of, for instance, the Mirror, or just um, other newspapers or news um, companies, organisations, they, are they creating opportunities for young people and encouraging them to move into journalism? What are the Mirror, for instance, doing to encourage young black people to get into that industry? Well, the Mirror have a number of internship roles that are available. We also have a number of entry-level positions that have been widely circulated to encourage young people to get into the industry, make their first steps towards working, whether it be on the sports side, the news side, other areas, celebrity, etc. So there are clear things that the Mirror are doing. And if any of the young aspiring reporters or even production staff because it isn't just on the page or in front of the camera where you can make an impact you may have other skills that you can bring to the table all of those positions are available we live in a multimedia industry so if you are someone who likes to make content uh, on camera uh, then there is a role for you at the mirror and oh. it is important when you ask the question like that that people recognize that there are jobs available, there are positions being created so that people can take those first steps. And when you ask me what the Mirror are doing, it is exactly that. I, th I think a lot to give them their due, other organizations are trying to do similar because as I say, they realize that we are in a period where we are giving more coverage to other ethnic groups but to be able to do that properly, you have to have staff, reporters, people with insight into those groups to be able to understand those different demographics. So the work is being done, the conversations are being had, and I think there are opportunities that are opening up for the younger people who are watching this particular show. Yeah, and it's when you said about as well that experience, so that if they are working um, within the the newspaper industry or the the media, that they can bring their experience to it, rather than having to go off and research something that they don't that the others may not know about. That that is a crucial thing, and that's why it is so important that if we can encourage and recommend 
different avenues that our young people can take, it does really, really make a difference. I, I wanted to ask you as well, do you, do you believe that if we were, had a more diverse um, workplace, it would improve our overall economy? If you look at black footballers, black, there are a third of the footballers in, in English football are black. They contribute over a billion pounds to the, the, the treasury. Um, so absolutely, it would be, it, it would work. I mean, it, it's quite weird that the case has to be made for that because it makes sense that if more black or Asian people buy your magazine, your newspaper, you watch your television show, you listen to your radio show, then your numbers go up and you make more money. Um, but that shouldn't be the primary reason that you do it. The primary reason that you do it is because if you want to be able, the nation is made up of different, many different demographics and you can't just direct your output towards one because what about the rest? What about the black men and women? What about the Asian men and women? What about the mixed race men and women? You know, not everybody's experience is the same. So that should be the primary reason for doing that rather than, I mean, listen, we all work in a business and if we don't achieve targets, we're out of a job. But at the same time, I think the primary reason why you try to be an outlet that speaks to the nation is that you want to reach all of the nation. So it shouldn't really be a difficult formula to put together. Yeah, no, absolutely. So Darren, you're, you're not the only black journalist working out there. What, what other journalists, what other black journalists are out there that people can aspire to be like? Well, Diane, you know, the Daily Mail has an excellent black sports journalist, uh, Adrian Kajumba. I've worked with him before at the Daily Mail, before he went to the Daily Mail. Mail is extremely competent and an excellent role model, as is his colleague on the same paper, Sammy Mockbell. Um, he is their chief news reporter on football and he has worked extremely hard to get there and, and both Sammy and Adrian do an excellent job for that newspaper. On my own newspaper, The Daily Mirror, Dean Wilson is our cricket correspondent, has been for around about 15 years and again he has excellent contacts within that particular field. He has great relationships among the written press as well as with the players as well. Eva Simpson is uh, works on the news section. Like me, she has a column for the Daily Mirror. And outside of the tabloids, Nesreen Malik is an outstanding writer for The Guardian. Afwa Hirsch is as well. Everybody knows about their stature and the authority that they write with in issues relating to race. Nadine White is outstanding. She writes for The Independent as well. Um, Lorraine King writes for The Daily Mirror on our online section. Again, an outstanding reporter, uh, former editor of the East London Advertiser, and she too is doing a great job. There are lots of people, names, other names I can throw in there, um, include uh, Kadeem Simmons, Sachi Nakrani, who also works for The Guardian. In TV and radio, Jordan Jarrett Bryan works for Channel 4 News. Hugh Rosencroft right, uh, works for Talksport Radio. Natasha Henry is a freelance F1 journalist who is oh. a concern of hand to a number of areas. The talent, the quality really is out there. They are all people that I would recommend that the people listening to this, watching this, seek them out on Twitter, watch their work, follow the way that they conduct themselves. All of them are magnificent role models. And if you really do want to get a foothold in whatever field you want to get into, I've only just scratched the surface with the names there, but I certainly would recommend each and every one of those people because they are masters of their craft. Darren, that's absolutely wonderful. And yes, if you're if you're watching and um, you'll be able to, to play this back on YouTube when we publish it, um, take down those names and as Darren said, follow them and see what they're up to and, and see if you can emulate what they're doing. And if you do want to get into journalism, 
please contact us at Genesis Sun. And when we start our live programs, we will be able to help you to get into that industry with fabulous people like Darren beside us. So Darren, thank you so much for joining us here today and for joining our first official virtual event. It's been a pleasure to have you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you.